in heaven amen so he says what he has what i will give you the keys of the kingdom yesterday i was saying something that you know when, when jesus died right we died with them and when he resurrected we resurrected with them and when he died he gave us the power to what well, to overcome sin right he gave us power to overcome sin so this scripture here is saying that what he said i will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven and that whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven whatever you lose on earth will be loose in heaven so this is what it show this shows that he has given us that power right to bind and loose he has given us the power over sin yesterday i talked about sin he has given us the power to overcome sin he has given us the power to bind and loose he has given us the power to overcome the demons the devils the principalities the powers he has given us the power over witches in our households he has given us the power so you have the authority right he said i will give you the keys of the kingdom so as a child of god he has given you that key to bind and to loose to bind and to loose right so you carry that power you carry that power this week i want us to recognize the importance of the blood i want us to recognize the importance of the death of christ when he died he died so that we can receive that power back the authority that we lost in um in eden the authority that we lost when um adam and eve sinned that authority was given back to us when jesus died that authority was given back unto us he said that i will give you the key to the kingdom the key that you whatever you lose what you can lose you can bind so he has given us power over sin right he has given us that power so see yourself as a child of god you carry that power you have not lost that authority unless you give it yourself to the devil but if you don't, you have that power. You have that authority. He says, I will give you the keys of the kingdom. And whatever you lose, whatever you bind on earth, it will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose, it will be loose in heaven. Amen? So he has given us that power. So know the authority that you carry as a child of God. Understand the importance of the death. He did not die so that we will still be cowards. No. He died and he what he when he when he went to the grave what did he do he when he took the key from the devil he took that authority back he took that authority back from satan right so that we will have that authority again we will be able to bind and lose we'll be able to overcome darkness we'll be able to overcome anything that will come our way amen so understand that you have that power because he has given you that key to bind and to lose amen so with that authority and with that revelation in mind, let us understand that his death, he died so that these things, you know, the power that we lost, we will receive it back. So you carry authority. So own that identity, own that authority that you have. Understand that you carry authority. So don't sit around for, you know, any demon, any devil, any witch, any wizard to just come around you and just, you know, you know, just like try to scare you. You carry authority. He has given you power to trample over snakes and over scorpions. You have that power. Or you have that power. You have that authority. Amen. So with that in mind, I want us to pray tonight. I want us to pray. You know, he says, I'll give you the key to bind and to lose. Whatever you bind on earth, it will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth, it will be loose in heaven. So you have that authority. You have that power. You have that power. Amen. So I want us to continue to pray tonight that, you know, whatever, you know, if we, we don't have that understanding that we have that power, we're asking the Holy Spirit to help us tonight. Especially, like I said, this week, we need to understand, we need to get a lot of revelation. We need to really get a lot of revelation and understand our authority in Christ because his death is not going to be in vain. You know, the devil wants us to look at Easter, like it's some Easter bunny and some chocolates and some parties. It's not about that. It's deeper than that. His death, it should be acknowledged. His death, he died so that you and I can have authority. He died so that the devil will be put to shame. He died so that we will be set free from the sins, from bondages, from captivity. Amen? So let us not take it for granted. Let us not see it as just normal. It's just Easter. It's just time to, you know, relax. It's just a holiday. No. Let us see, especially this week, reflect you know, understand the importance of his death, reflect, you know, get, get in his presence and understand certain things, you know, just know your authority in Christ. Amen. Know your authority in Christ and own that authority. So you have that power. You have that power. Though we lost it in the garden, 
Jesus came, he died, and he gave us back that authority again. Amen? So you do have that power to bind and to lose. So tonight, let us pray. We're asking the Holy Spirit to empower us, to be able to help us, to be able to walk in this authority that we have been given, because we do have the authority. A lot of times, we we, we, we get scared. You know, when things happen, we lose our faith. When things happen, we just we're, 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 we, we act like we don't even know the power that we carry. And it's the, the devil that wants you to think that way. But you do have that power. If you didn't know, now you know. You do have that power. Amen. So let us pray. Let us pray as the Holy Spirit. He says, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth will be loose in heaven. So you have that authority. With that in mind, let us pray. As the Holy Spirit continues to empower you, as the Holy Spirit continues to empower you, he can shake it in the mighty name of Jesus. He 